Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the right join operation and uh, you know I have added some rows in the tutorial underscore info table and uh, corresponding rows in the tutorial table are not there right so let me just show you guys the data that I have in the tutorial underscore info table first tutorial underscore info and uh, when I execute the query you would see that I have uh, rows that have uh, values 23, 24 and 25 for the tutorial underscore ID column and uh, if I would show you the data that's uh, there in the tutorial table you would see that there are no rows that have uh, you know value for the ID column you know uh, between 23 and 25 right so if suppose I want to pull out information from both tables for all rows that are present in the tutorial underscore info table even if you know no corresponding rows are present in the tutorial table then in that case if I have to modify this query you know the one that we executed in the last tutorial you know when we discussed left join if I have to modify this query and if I have to make uh, some adjustments to you know get in data from tutorial underscore info table for rows with ID 23, 24 or 25 then I'll have to you know take out the left keyword from there and type in right instead right and that's because the tutorial underscore info table in this query happens to be on the right hand side of the join keyword right and when I would uh, execute this query I would see that I get uh, you know some values for total views and total likes you know 415850 and 2619 for a subject that you know is is not present in the tutorial table and that's why it's displayed as null here right so it's a null value it does you know these values do not have a corresponding match in the tutorial table but still since we're using the right join operation you know we're getting a row with the these values displayed you know with a corresponding null match right so that's it about joins and you know there is actually one more kind of join operation that i wanted to discuss in this course and that's the full order join operation but then you know my sql does not support full outer join and you know i thought first about it that maybe i should you know um, show you full outer join in uh, microsoft sql server environment through the sql server management studio interface but then i thought that that would be too much work and you know i mean there's actually a way around the full outer join in my sql where you can have a union of the right and left outer joins but uh, that's something that we might discuss later on in this course or maybe in some other playlist that I record in the future. But uh, you don't have to worry about that too much. You know, if you if you understood as much about joins as we've discussed in this course, then you're good to go. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one. In the next tutorial, we're going to begin discussion, uh, you know, begin our discussion on uh, numeric functions in MySQL. And that's going to be very interesting. So uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And thank you so much for watching this. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And bye-bye. Uh,